Hey there, welcome. I am going to be sharing with you a flip through of the K4 Abeka Language Arts and the materials that I purchased to use with my five-year-old this year. Um, I did not get everything. I'm going to be adapting the curriculum, um, but I just thought I would give you an overview because it's pretty overwhelming when you look at a Becca site and you're like, what do I need? Do I need all this stuff? How am I going to use it? How is it going to be not too much? And so I'm going to share with you what I plan on doing, the things that I have, and just giving you an idea of what you get when you purchase the things that I purchased. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Okay, so these are all of the materials I have for K4 language arts. I've got these blend B, uh, blend A practice cards. I don't actually know if we're gonna be using these, but I got them because I, between the two girls that I have, we will use these some. I've got the mini alphabet flashcards. I've got the teacher lesson plans, the phonics charts and games, um, the workbook. I've got writing with phonics K4 and then I've got the reader. So I'm going to show you what things look like inside. So let's start with the lesson plans. This book you can find it used is worthwhile getting used. There's stuff at the beginning to the parents, like a parent overview, their philosophy, how they teach letter sounds, stuff like that. That is important to read because um, it does make a difference. So I suggest reading through that. Um, and then you've got your lesson plans. And you can see here, it highlights like the lesson it is, and then it breaks it down to different areas. Now we're not doing the habits, we're focusing on phonics, and you can see it tells you what visuals you need, so what materials you need to get ahead of time, which honestly, it's like a two minute quick roundup, and honest, if you could look at the beginning of the week and get it sorted then, then it would be very open and go for the week. And then it's got your procedure, and things that are in bold are things you're saying out loud to your child. Then they've got activity time. Now, I'm not planning on doing this. I'm just doing the phonics. And that's it. So that's that's it. So they're very short lessons. Um, this is set up more for a classroom, and I'm not planning on using it like a classroom. So it does then, as they get on, it introduces handwriting. So it does build slowly. Then it introduces numbers. It's not everything all at once on the first day, which I appreciate, but that's what is out there. There are 170 lessons in the book. And at the back, you've got some appendices with like the blend ladders and stuff. So you don't need to buy all the everything because a lot of it's like repeated in different books. That's how your lesson plan is. That's where your teaching comes from for your phonics. Now it does refer to the phonics charts and games, which I've got those here and I just keep them in this folder. You can see there's charts there. There's like a teacher's manual on how to use them. These are for the games and I've got the game, it's like a mouse house game. I've got the game pieces here in baggies. I actually laminated them. They come in like a punch out sheet, but I went ahead and laminated them as well to keep them super durable. And then I'll show you this is the workbook. So it's very, very simple, colorful. So it tells you which one to do it at the bottom of the page. It tells you which lesson it correlates with, but the book will also, like the teacher's manual will also tell you. Most of them are single-sided and um, they don't necessarily, you don't necessarily do it with every lesson. So yeah, just really sweet. A lot of it's numbers, but there's phonics in there as well. You can see there. There's some extra practice pages at the back. A little bit of writing practice. I actually think it's pretty age appropriate and it's not too much. My daughter is so excited to start this. So we'll follow this and we'll use the teacher's manual to guide us on that. What we will not be using the teacher's manual with is this one. This is writing with phonics K4. And I'm just gonna have her do this like three days a week. So we're using it as our handwriting book. It's got coloring in it and like identifying things, circling things, connecting the dots. So just good hand motor skill development. And it's really fun and colorful. So that is the writing with phonics K4. And then the last thing I show are the readers. So these, these ones I bought new and then the other ones behind it I got off of eBay. 
Um, and they start off really basic with just like your letter sounds. You can see there, that's most of these, but it does pretty quickly move into having some words. So here they start with, and then they're going fit and then fit. Same thing, gas. And then I'm just skipping through a few of them. They do have, do have some activities you can do. I will not have her drawing in these. Um, they've got some sentences that they can read there as well. So it does move pretty quickly into that. Um, let's have a look at the last one. That's book 12. And it's got them reading some words and some sentences, just CBC mostly. There we go. And then it moves on to these readers and these do progress. They get pretty advanced, I think. Um, but I think you just use them as your child needs them. So you've got some sentences there. And I'll go sort of halfway through them. And you're focusing on here. It's got the long vowel sounds and short vowel sounds. We're working on that. And then by the last one, which is this one, this is what they're reading. So if your child's not up to this at this point, I wouldn't stress because I know that there's tons of review in a baker. So grade one, we'll go over all of this kind of stuff again. It sort of starts right at the basics and quickly moves through that as a review and then like gets them back up to speed. So those are the readers. Those are all the materials I'm gonna be using for Abeka K4 Language Arts. And I will just do what I wanna do. If there's like enrichment activities that I feel like doing or will be beneficial for her, then we'll do them. But I'm also not like stressed about doing all the things in the teacher's manual. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and gave you an idea of what to expect. Uh, if you do have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to get back to you. But thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love?